Hello my friends, Oliver once again with Free Your Zen. In today's video I'm talking about isolation slash sensory deprivation slash flotation therapy. So I am going to be going into um, a flotation tank. If you've never heard of it before, I'll explain it in a moment. But I'm going to go into a flota uh, flotation tank once again soon. I've done about five sessions so far, but I'm going to be doing it again soon. So I thought I'd make a video explaining, talking about my experience in a flotation tank, as well as a few details about the process itself and my personal experience also. So, should we begin? All right then, let's begin. So, sensory deprivation, flotation, isolation tank therapy uh, came about, I think it was in the 60s, a guy called John Lilly invented them. Um, he started experimenting with ketamine actually as a way of curing his chronic migraines and he, and he actually he started taking ketamine this guy did John Lilly in the 60s started taking ketamine and actually fashioned his own like homemade kind of like isolation tank just to see how it would uh, affect him uh, so he essentially is the pioneer of flotation therapy uh, so there's a bit of history there for you so what essentially is flotation therapy uh, flotation therapy basically is being submerged um, sort of floating in, Eps in a solution of Epsom, Epsom salts, in darkness, in silence, in a tank. Um, a very unique environment. Basically, it's totally pitch black as well. Uh, so you don't hear anything. You're relatively weightless. Uh, you, the water is heated, so it's um, around the average body temperature. So you don't really notice the temperature difference of the water either. And you just float in there, and you have no distractions. It's like going on a date with yourself. It's really quite unusual. Um, why do people do this though? People do this for its relaxation benefits. Uh, people do this for a variety of reasons actually um, people um, generally do it for introspection introspective reasons some people go in there so they can get greater clarity on their lives um, it's a really versatile practice it's quite fascinating actually so so what was my experience like so as i said at the start of the video i've had five float sessions now in total um, and now the first two sessions are quite interesting. I'll explain. The first two sessions are interesting because you're kind of settling into the experience. Yeah, it's like the first time you sit down and you meditate. <clears throat> the mind is going crazy, um, but it's it's all hazy, and you don't really notice the mind because uh, you, you've not really stepped outside of it to see it from an, an objective perspective. You can't really notice it, so it's a bit. It's all just a bit messy, and it seems a bit unusual, all over the place. That's how it was for me, anyway. But on the third session, things started to get a little bit weird. Um, it's almost as if I started to see my thoughts as images in front of me, um, but not really in front of me. It's almost as if in the absence of any external stimuli, um, my mind was sort of like making stuff up, was just, just creating images and things for me to interact with. Um, so perfect example was when I was lying there, I was floating, and then all of a sudden I, get, I had, the, had the impression that I was in my kitchen. And there was the fridge in front of me and like a and like a door handle of the fridge and I went to reach for the fridge door handle to open it up because I do that habitually anyway and then I just noticed that nothing was really happening the fridge wasn't opening and not only that I looked at the little dial on the fridge because we've got a fancy big American fridge um, and it's like got like the time on it all the dials on the time were just spinning from one to nine like like constantly like cycling through and I couldn't really read the time either. I was like, it was like a it was like a dream. And all of a sudden, I became lucid again. And I was like, I realised that my hands were wet. And I was like, why is that? Why is this? And then I realised, I was like, oh, I'm in the tank. I'm in the flotation tank. Wow. Okay. Mind blowing. <laughs> so that's the power it can have. Um, with me, it was, it was like, I noticed the functioning of the mind a lot more obviously. I noticed how a lot of it is kind of like. Um, judgmental, kind of habitual, and kind of like just chaotic, really. Um, it's as if, in the absence of all the external stimuli of, of the average day to day existence, you're presented with yourself in such a picture, in such a way that you can't really escape. It is the complete opposite of any sort of distraction we have. And we exist in a, in a, in a world that's increasingly getting better and better and better at distracting itself from discomfort and pain. Um, but when you sit in the tank, it's uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. It's difficult at times. You're like lying there thinking, shit, how long have I got left? You know, and, and then you start to notice actually a little while, you start to settle down and see that it's just the mind saying that this isn't enough. I don't like this, I want something else. And then you notice that this is actually the mind that, um, or I notice that it's actually the mind that I carry, carry around with me in my day-to-day -day experience anyway. So my last uh, flotation uh, session I had of the five that I bought, 
The last one I had was deeply peaceful. Deeply. On, on peaceful on a level that I didn't know was possible, actually. I would not even achieved states like that in meditation, even. I, I was lay there and I saw the thoughts emerge and come and, and um, come and go. The thought patterns emerge and dissipate. And it's as if I didn't get bothered by any of it. Usually when a thought comes up, um, my dualistic mind tends to think bad or good. So if something comes up that's quite negative, I don't want that. Something comes up that's positive, I want that. So I'm constantly clinging to the good and pushing away the bad. And this is stressful. But in this last flotation session I had, I didn't attach to either of them. A thought came up and it was just like, oh, all right then. Ooh, it was like more, more kind of playful, childlike curiosity rather than a habitual judgmental um, situation, a judgmental reaction, sorry, I, I tend to find myself in. So would I recommend flotation therapy? I would highly recommend flotation therapy. Most people don't want to do flotation therapy. Most people think of the idea. I present them with the idea, the reality of what flotation therapy is. And generally I'm met with a kind of, oh, that sounds scary. Oh, I don't like the idea of that. Ugh. And I'm sort of like, why? Why? <laughs> is it because you just, you're, you're put in a situation where you have to confront yourself and there's no other way out? And, ha and is that scary? And if so, why is that scary? Think about that. You should think about that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's powerful. It's powerful for a reason. And um, I'm going to be going into my flotation tank sometime in the next few weeks. And uh, I'm going to make another video actually of how I feel before. It's going to be like a vlog style video of how I feel before and how I feel after. And I'm going to show you a little bit of the process too. Actually, in the you get like a separate room, the tank's in the middle, you have a shower beforehand and you get totally naked to get in the tank as well, um, which is quite nice. <laughs> but I'm not, don't worry, I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, keep an eye out for that video, guys. I'll, I'm going to wrap this up now because I think I've talked enough about it, about my experience. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions, guys, pop them in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, flotation therapy, I highly recommend it. So uh, like, if you like that video, click, be sure to click like, the big thumbs up. Click subscribe if you want to see my future videos. Make sure you click the bell notification so you don't miss anything, guys. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Take care of yourselves. Peace, presence, happy travels, whatever that means. <laughs> Bye.